everyone, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis. So, wanted to talk to you about uh, people quitting the game. It seems like people are just leaving uh, in droves. Uh, I guess people are just fed up over time. Game has changed. It's become way, way too monetized. Um, neglect would be a good word also. Um, Evany has neglected a lot of things, particularly basically customer service, that sort of stuff. But also just uh, very, their vision is just so money driven, but also short term money driven, I would say. So one thing that I'll show you here is I'm just going to look at SVS rankings. And the reason I want to talk about this, uh, I have a couple friends who wrote me and said uh, they're done. And th these are two people who, you know, it's a family and they, you know, own like 50 accounts, multiple, you know, like high billions. This used to be a very powerful server. I would say it was probably top three or four servers in all of Ebony. And if we go here, so my server is 141 and we're 430. But if you look, you can see like server 19 is right around us. Server 36 is right around us. Uh, where else do we got here? Server 10 below us. And these are things that should not happen because server 53. And the way these rankings work, like just over time, lifetime points, right? So just by sheer playing SVS for a long time, you will have a lot of points and you shouldn't, you shouldn't be a server that's been around for like six years and be below a two, two and a half year old server. It's just like so hard to get points and my server doesn't score many points, but that just means that these people have completely lost interest and they just aren't scoring points or even participating in SVS anymore. And why would you when, like I just did a video yesterday, 100 million rally cap, even if it's just a 40 million rally that hits you, like that is devastating. You lose half your keep, you don't have souls, you're done. You really look at your server spending if you go to Historic City and you go to rankings. So right here, basically we have one person coining and then a second person who is, that's not much of a coin, 150K. That's probably about, literally, it's probably about $150 spent. Probably right around there. So you can see mine, zero. Now, that's because I haven't, <laughs> haven't bet any. Like, if I bet and use my clues, then my ranking would go up. But I'm going to tell you something. I've spent zero this event, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be spending zero again. Uh, Ebony going after gems and stamina on family members that people paid money for. Like that really bothered some people. Uh, it drove some people to just say, I'm never spending again, or I quit. Um, so my personal opinion on that is like, yeah, you're not supposed to have more than one account, but Ebony does have the right to just refuse your money, right? Like they know that the money is coming from the same credit card. Like let's pretend you have 12 alts. I really doubt you have 12 PayPal accounts or 12 credit cards. It's coming from one. So Ebony could say, yep, yeah, that money's, uh, you have to tie this card to one account. You're not spending on multiples on one server, but they don't. Instead, they took everybody's money and then they confiscated it. Like that is just outright theft. This is bad business practice. It's short term gain. They think like, yeah, we're gonna do this. And then the people are gonna have to spend again to buy all this stuff we just took from them. But it doesn't really work like that. Like I was talking with someone today. And it was like, how much does it cost to really be good at Ebony? Cause I know lots of people don't agree with me, but uh, my opinion is that this is a pay to win game. And if you pay money, you are good at the game. If you don't pay money, you really, really fall behind. Like sure, you can improve yourself by being, you know, knowledgeable, preparing, doing presets, getting in a good alliance, uh, knowing what to refine, what not, but you're gonna be lacking stuff. You're gonna be one dimensional. And you know, you could be a bit better than people who spend the same as you or a little more or a little less, but you can't really jump that tier. Like a VIP 15 is not gonna be better than a VIP 20. They might play better, but they're not gonna perform better. 
So uh, it costs basically about $6,000 a month if you want to be elite in this game. And about $2,000 if you don't want to fall behind too much. Like if you're just going to take a month and be like, you know, I'm going to... I'm going to be casual. I'm not going to spend too much, but I don't want to fall too far behind. You're going to have to do a full cake. <laughs> one. One of the two events. That's insane. If you want to spend like $1,000, you're still going to fall behind a lot. But a little less than uh, if you only spend like 300 Like if you're just doing the minimum cake to get that low civilization gear. So I'll show you. If you're caking to level 4 to get this civ gear... It's really not even worth it. You have fallen behind so much by everything else you've... This is just an illusion. Like, oh yeah, I got one piece of Civ gear. That's awesome. I got 5% more range on my Siege. Awesome. But the amount that you fall behind from someone who cakes, like, let's just say level 6 or 7, the, all the blazons they get, all the extra treasure scrolls, like, they're adding... You know, like 15, 20% to everything a month that you're not adding. And that just adds up. So the game is very depressing for many people for obvious reasons. Um, you know, you can use Aptoid. You can use promo code Genghis, right? You can uh, get your 25, 30, 35% discount depending on the days with Aptoid. But you're still going to have to spend the big amounts if you want to really take advantage of it, right? Like you could stretch that $100 into $125 with that 25% discount. But those people who are only spending, you know, $1,500 instead of $2,000 and getting that uh, full cake are really, really pulling away still. It's like when those double coupons came out. I remember I got suckered in. I know. I, they came out and I was like, awesome. I'm going to get, I get two five packs for $5. I'm going to gain on all the big coiners. And then like I didn't really clue in for a while that like all these guys actually just go to the 99 pack and use these double coupons and blow us away. So anyways, I think that uh, this game is really going down if Ebony doesn't change it. They don't change direction and it doesn't seem like they have any willingness to change. I will say the one thing Ebony has done in the past like maybe eight months they have slowed down the updates. Like, after Blazons and that sort of stuff, Treasure Scrolls, all they've really done is add levels. They haven't really added anything new that you have to coin for, other than, like, some champions. But you don't have to coin for them, right? You can get them grinding a little bit. Although I know some people are going to say, yeah, uh, there's one of them. I think it's this one right here. I think everyone's stuck at 380 flowers. And Ebony's uh, not giving him a chance to get that extra 20 flowers to unlock it. So I guess Ebony's really making them wait. But uh, I fear that there is a massive update coming. I do think that's why they did the alt wipe. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I think that it's just going to really destroy the game. K40, like this game needed K40. It really did when it came out. It was like a big reset. It was like this game had become stale, boring, K40 made it exciting. But then they killed it by doing like Civ gear every single event. They could have just like repeated it and or had some stuff grindable. But you used a coin to speed up your progress in the game. And now it's like you coin to get past that paywall to have an advantage on people. Um, Anyways, that's my thoughts. I think the game is in a very, very, uh, <laughs> uh, a point of inflection, let's say, where Ebony really has to do some thinking because they are losing a lot of players. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't really think that's affecting their bottom line. I think revenue's never been higher, but I think it's short term because those people get tired of spending and it's hard to continue to find whales. But they could get the micro transactions non-stop from their old player base if they would just throw them a bone once in a while. Give them better server merges. Give them some stuff so maybe they can compete a little bit. Like thank them for all their money purchased in the past. When you do an update, Ebony should probably do updates. Like here, uh, I'll show you my VIP. So 22, my free gift every day. It's pretty good. They could do something like this. Like, oh, you've logged in for 1800 straight days 
here's a nice gift of some new item that they released in the game. Like when they release blazons, hey, for these people, here's 200 blazons or here's five a day as long as you continue to log in that amount of time. Something like that to give the old guard, you know, just a bone. It won't even be enough to help them keep up, but to just be like, thanks, we appreciate the money you spent on this game years ago. Anyways, that's my thoughts. But uh, we know that Ebony and Freebies don't really exist too much anymore. So anyways, let me know your comments. Are you losing lots of people on your server? Uh, I know we are. We actually have quite a few people in world chat saying they're done with this game. You know, the money spent just isn't worth it. And then people from other servers telling me too. Lots of people telling me too. This is their last All-Stars. Look at Sir Philip. Junior League didn't even show up to the first round. Just didn't participate. Is that a protest? A silent protest? I don't know. Or maybe he's just busy with life. I don't know. I guess time will tell. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.